Hey, good morning, everybody. AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another Kenwood TL922A, my favorite commercially made ham amplifier. So this thing is really clean internally, has some scratches on the outside, but so I'm going to go through it. I'm going to do all the modifications. He wants the 10 meter mod done, so I'll do that. Band switch looks okay. Air variable capacitors look okay. So he needs a Zener diode for the bias circuit. Someone added a, a different one, and they put it in a different location on the mounting uh, aluminum bracket piece. So I'll fix that. Ground the grids, do everything else I normally do. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys soon. Hey everybody, I'm back with the completed Kenwood TL922. So I did all the mods, I'll go over everything. So when I had the front panel off to do the ten, part of the 10 meter mod, a screw fell out. So one of the screws backed all the way out for the mounting of the plate tune air variable capacitor. So I put it back in and a lot of the screws were loose. So I tightened them all up really well. I don't know if someone had it apart or what. So. That's all set. Now it goes to 10 meters. So, like I said, the capacitors look good. Put the strap in over here. Put the series glitch resistor in over here. Meter protection diode. Zip tied the wires. Clean the contacts on this relay back here with deoxid gold. To the 10 meter mod, part of the 10 meter mod. It's a multi step process. I'm going to flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. I'll be right back. See you soon. Okay, so here's the bottom. I grounded the grids really well with strap. Did the self bias modification. Put in the proper Zener diode for the biasing. Did the other part of the 10 meter mod. Clean the output rotary switch with deoxy gold. Input rotary switch with deoxy gold. Added the strap over here. That's really important. Changed the electrolytic cap over here. Added a new diode over here. And this thing is ready to rock and roll. Uh, one last thing, I did change the output SO239. It did not have a really good grip, so it has a brand new Teflon type, silver plated Teflon. And here's the old one, the old Zener, and the old chokes. You can see one was all congealed. One of the tubes flashed, all the old mica caps and all that stuff. Old cap here, electrolytic. So, if you need any amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. And this got a brand new set of RF parts tubes. Customer bought a set of those. Uh, good company over there. Also Penta. Penta is awesome. also an awesome company. Great customer service. So, please feel free to give me a call. 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. Lots more videos to come. And I will be back on that amp soon. So, 73s and take care.